Hi, it's nice to see you again. I hope you're all doing well. So first off, right off the bat, please forgive my glasses. I see my transition are kicking in, so you're going to see a tint, tint, and I do apologize. It can't be helped. Um, and also, I'm in my husband's sweatshirt. I love wearing his sweatshirt. No makeup except lip balm and my hair is up. We are having... I think we're having a heat spurt today. It's actually 10 degrees. Um, <laughs> uh, yesterday was five and the day before it was uh, five below. So we are on an upswing this weekend. We're supposed to um, get into the 50s. So I wonder why people get sick around here. But uh, today's just one of those days, lazy, being lazy, don't feel like doing anything. So I thought today would be a perfect time to shoot my first ever empties. Now, um, one of the reasons I've never done an empties is so silly, at least it is to be, is I can't, I kept forgetting to save things. I'm not a big saver um, of things and um, I don't like clutter, so I wind up just pitching what I can and then of course donating. Um, but I don't like things laying around and I kept forgetting to save some empties. So I managed to save some um, in the last couple of months. The other reason I haven't done an empties is because I really don't go through a lot of things uh, per month. Um, but um, I am going to start here with what I have and had in the last couple months. Some of these products are going to be full only because I did throw out the empties. Um, but uh, most of these um, I uh, have used up over, I think, the past couple of months. So we are just going to get started right off the bat here. I used up my Obagi Tretinoin Cream. It's 0.1% um, Tretinoin slash Retin-A. I wanted to try this just because I like Obagi products and I use a couple of them. Um, and it is an expensive, I think it's like almost $100 for this tube. But I have to be very honest with you, I wouldn't purchase it again because I think you can just go to your dermatologist, get a prescription for a Retin-A, like a generic, depending on your insurance or whatever, wherever you buy it, you're going to pay anywhere from $40 to $50 a tube. For me, this lasted a long, long time because I don't use Retin-A every night but I adore Retin-A. I've done a video on Retin-A. I've used Retin-A since my 30s and I'm now in my 50s. I think it not only has correct, helped correct my skin but I think it's helping me maintain my skin right now and I just I cannot tell you the benefits of Retin-A and how much I love it. Um, I'm going to do a more in-depth video as well. I don't put it on um, any special way. I just use it and I use it consistently and I think that's the huge thing about Retin-A. You just got to use it and use it consistently. You got to get past the ugly stage which is the peeling and the redness. Um, but if you have not used a Retin-A, talk to your dermatologist of course. If you can't use a Retin-A, try a Retinol. I've used SkinCeuticals and um, Skin Medica Retinols. I started at 0.5 and worked my way up to a um, a point one. Of course, you don't need a prescription for a retinol product because it's not as strong as the Retin-A, but I think retinol works um, very well too, and I would highly suggest a retinol. If you um, cannot use a Retin-A, the benefits I think are fantastic. Um, um, I'll do it, like I said, I'll, I'll probably do a separate video on Retin-A again, and then the retinols that I use and love, um, I just think they're fabulous for your skin. Um, the other, these next three products now, I've been using some type of exfoliating, manual exfoli exfoliating um, facial scrub since I have been a teenager, and I just love it for my face. Now, I know some people don't like to use scrubs with, um, like, grains in it, or they're usually, like, sugars, or um, just some type of other um, grainy um, granules in it. I adore them. Like I said, I've been using them since my teens. I love to slough off the dead skin, um, especially when I do a Retin-A, when it, my skin flakes from it. I love to use an exfoliator to get that off. And one of my newest, 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 newest favorites, and I've talked about this over and over and over, is the Suki Exfoliate Foaming Cleanser. I adore, adore, adore this. I... Um, have three backups in my closet of this and um, I've been using I think I've gone through two of these already in the last three months what this is basically is it starts out as a sugar scrub um, and it is it is a granule but it when you first of all I would you got to remove your makeup first at least I do and then I go back in and I used to just scoop out a little bit, um, put it on my face, and it starts out as a, a sugar granule scrub. And once you start, um, you know, rubbing it into your face, and you don't want to do 
a heavy rub. You just want to do it lightly. It'll start turning into a foaming cleanser. And I just love, love, love this product. I cannot tell you how much I adore this. And I, there's two things I don't like about it. And I've said this already. The first thing I don't like about it is it's four ounces and it retails for about $40. I, as much as I adore it, I can't even make myself spend that kind of money for this, which is why I have backups. Um, if you go to Target right now, I've seen it for $20. If you have a Target um, card, you could get 5% off of that if you want to give it a go. And also, Costco has this again. For a while, they were sold out, but they do have it again for $20. Um, so I do stock up when I see it on half price, but I adore this. I will say this for me personally, this should not, uh, it's not meant to go around your eye area, but if you do happen to get a little bit of in your eyes, the, the cleanser, I, it does sting a little bit. And of course, um, you know, you, like I said, you don't want to use it for your eye area. It's not meant for that, but of course I'm a little bit of a klutz and um, I do get this in my eye, but I just rinse it out. Um, so this sting, stinging goes away, but um, I just, I absolutely ap adore that. Um, another one that I've used up over the couple, last couple months was by um, recommending to me, hi Gina, by Gina, uh, one of, one of uh, lovely uh, viewer, she recommended the Nip Fab Glycolic Scrub Fix, and I really do like this. This is another uh, scrub for your face, and it's, it's um, about, let's see, it's two and a half ounces, and it's about $12. I don't like that because I think it's expensive as well um, for the size you get. But this is a very, very nice scrub. And Gina, my love, if you like this, I would try this Sookie. I think you would really like it as well. Um, this is not a cleanser. It's just, you know, strictly a scrub for your face. And so you do want to cleanse your face first. Um, but this is a very nice one. It's gentle and um, the nip, it's a pretty good uh, Nip Fab is a, is a nice product. I have not tried any others, but I will. But uh, this is another one that um, I really like as well. So Gina, look into that Sookie. I think you might like it. And then another one I went through, this is actually full though. It's the, it's by Skin Food, the Black Sugar Mask Wash Off. Um, I have not opened this yet. I just got rid of the um, other jar uh, probably about a week and a half ago. And I find this on Amazon. This is a, what size is this? Let's see. Well, I'll put the ounces down, but I've seen this anywhere from eight to probably fifteen dollars. This I would not recommend if you've never tried a scrub before because I think it's a little bit more of a, a heavier granule. Um, but it smells like brown sugar. Um, this is not a cleanser, so again, you want to use um, a cleanser to get your makeup first off, and then you can go into this, and then it you know lightly. Uh, you know, scoop some out and then with your face still wet from, you know, washing off your makeup, lightly uh, use this on your face. You can also leave this on for a while as a mask. This is, I do that as well, but this is a very nice uh, scrub as well. I just love it. And I've been using this for probably eight years or so. It's very, very good. Staying in the skincare, um, I went through my Nasture White Sea face mask, sheet mask. I've talked about these. These are one of my favorite masks. Sheet mask. If you have never tried a sheet mask, I highly, I highly recommend the Nasture. Uh, from a value standpoint alone, I don't think you can go wrong because they're pretty good price wise, and um, I think these masks are very, very nice. This is the White Sea. I also went through a collagen. I didn't keep the box, but I love these. I adore these. Um, I don't think you're going to go wrong with these just because they are such a good price, um, and I have a bunch of them in my backup closet. Uh, like I have the um, the pearl, the caviar, and the red wine mask. And again, highly recommend these, especially if you first time sheet mask trier. Um, another thing that I went through is my Shiseido uh, Benefiance Wrinkle Resist 24 for the eyes. Now this happens to be full. I, I opened this a, about a week ago because again, I didn't save the jar. I adore this cream. It is a very thick, rich cream. I have been using this for probably over 10 years. I dabble in other eye creams, um, but I always come back to this. I love this for um, my allergies. I love it for, for this time of the year here when it gets dry and cold. I love it when I'm using Retin-A. This really helps keep my under eye area 
uh, moist and I don't have an issue with it messing up uh, my concealer. I usually use the Maybelline Age Rewind. It plays well with that, I believe. And since I mostly use two mascaras, I don't have a problem with this coming, um, interfering with the mascara and it's smearing. The problem with this is it's $60. It's just expensive for this little jar, but it lasts me a long time because you don't need a lot. A little, 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 little goes a long way, and I just adore it. I really, truly do. And um, I would highly recommend you try this if you have drying um, of your under eyes or, uh, you know, you need some more moisture. I think this is fantastic. It gets great reviews online, so I would highly give this a try. Or I highly recommend it and like I said I've been using it for a long long time another thing I went through I've talked about these before I went through my frownies facial patches these are I don't have any in here right now of course because it's empty but um, these are paper patches that you put on um, in between your eyebrows at night when you're going to sleep so it smooths out the uh, lines in between um, like I said, your eyebrows. I have been using these since my early 30s. I'm now in my 50s. I adore these. I would never be without. I do believe these work. I think this has helped kept my lines from getting deeper and smoothing them, them out um, in the middle of my forehead. And um, they also have frowny patches for your crow's feet and your nose to mouth lines. I have not tried those yet. I'm sure I will. But um, I started out wearing using these one, every night. Now I'm down to a couple times a week just as a maintenance, but I just I just love these. You could buy, find them at Bed Bath & Beyond, um, Amazon, eBay, of course the website of Frownies. I just think these are fabulous little products. You get 144 patches. I've seen them anywhere from $15 to $25. Um, they last me a couple months um, just because, like I said, I don't use them every night, but I would highly recommend it. I just adore them. Um, like I said, kept my has kept my 11 lines in between my eyebrows from getting worse. Um, uh, switching up here just slightly, I'm going to go into supplement, uh, sup supplements I went through. I won't go into um, too much detail. I think I'm going to do a separate supplement um, video because I do take a lot of supplements. And I adore my supplements. And I've been taking supplements again since my 30s. And um, I can tell you that for me, supplements are one of those things that you don't realize they're working until you stop taking them. And like I said, I won't go into detail, but um, I highly recommend it. Of course, you should talk to your doctor, do what's best for you, but I would not be without my supplements. I went through the Kirkland, and my husband takes them too, Kirkland Signature Wild Alaskan Fish Oils for my Omegas. Um, good price, and it's a good product uh, on Costco. And then the Purely Beneficial res Resveratrol. I have, I'm pretty new to a resveratrol. It's supposed to be good for, you know, anti antioxidants for your, your body. Um, I do like these. I have bought them. I have, I think I've tried them mm, maybe four or five times, and um, I would buy these again. I'll go into detail more, but... Um, Amazon, I got these on, and uh, I got this on Amazon, I mean, but um, I went through that. I also went through, now, this is my this is my husband's shampoo. It's Aveda Black Malva. He loves this, keeps his hair in good shape, keeps his color rich, and um, he loves the smell of this as well. Um, I also went through a bottle of this, but I use the chamomile. Um, and it helps, again, keeps your color rich, and it um, keeps, for me personally, my highlights um, in the warm golden shade, which I uh, like in my hair. Uh, it's a, it's a, almost a 34-ounce size. It's expensive. I think it's over $40. Now, I don't use mine every day, um, so mine lasts a long time because I switch out my shampoos, but my husband uses his every day, and it lasts him a while, but he adores his black Malva for dark brown hair, black hair um he he really adores the shampoo and um uh again i use the chamomile and i love it so he went through that i went through my chamomile but i threw it out um and then something else that i something just kind of silly i um i haven't wiped my teeth in in a while and i usually use the trays back when zoom was popular um and after i got my braces off i had zoom done of course because i wanted to uh you know after i wore braces for two and a half years i wanted to um 
wipe my smile. So I did get Zoom, and of course, you know when you whiten your or you, you whiten your teeth, a lot of times you have sensitivity problems, and um, I have found a toothpaste that I adore. Now I don't use this toothpaste every night because or morning because um, it's expensive. Number one. And um, I do switch it off with like the Colgate or the Crest whitening toothpaste. But if you are like me and you have sensitivity issues, you might want to try this. It's the Sensodyne True White Toothpaste. My favorite is a f extra fresh. They have, I think, mint as well. I just really, it's not going to get you chiclet white teeth. It's really not. But it's going to keep them um, bright. And it's going to help with the sensitivity, especially if you are, um, like I said, whitening your teeth or if you just have sensitivity problems or if you're getting ready to go to the dentist and you just can't, you know, you have sensitive, uh, no, who likes going to the den dentist? None of us do really, but um, when they start scraping and my teeth are sensitive, this seems to help with not as, with my teeth not being as sensitive when they're doing their, sticking their tools in your mouth. <laughs> but um, I just adore this. I learned about this from my, they had a sample at my de at my dentist. I've been using this for probably over five years. Um, it is only a three ounce and it's $6, which is what I don't like about it. It's expensive, but I don't use it every, uh, every day. Um, I use it a couple times a week, so it does last me a little longer, but I adore this. I really do. If you have sensitive teeth, but you want to keep your teeth white and bright, I would highly recommend trying this. I think you'd like it. So um, I think that's it for the most part. Like I said, I had more, but I, of course I didn't save any. Um, so if you like this and you want to see more empties, um, more empty videos, please let me know. And I will make a concerted effort to hold on to them. And um, until the next time, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful um, weekend and I will see you soon and if you're in an area like I am stay warm guys and um, if you're in a hot climate you lucky things you uh, <laughs> enjoy it for us bye guys